everybody, welcome back to Burst TV. Today, I wanted to talk about designing a smile for a patient. Now let's say you've got a patient in your chair, they've come to you for help, they don't like their smile, but they wanna see what their options are. And there are so many options. Now, in the past, and I, well, I still see it a lot today, it's a conversation type thing. We take some x-rays, we might have a couple pictures on the screen, um, but it's more of like a conversation of the doctor giving the patient their treatment options and you just kind of pick from there. There's so much really awesome technology at our fingertips now so that we can bring in patients as active participants in their care. And this is the best way to treat your patients and give them exactly what they're looking for, especially with digital photography. So I reached out to one of our new Burst TV stars, Dr. Daryl Torkelis, to see what his thought process is when he's uh, designing these treatment plans. This is Dr. T coming out of San Diego, California, a collective smiles practice, practicing in Linda Vista and a beloved Burst Ambassador. So today I want to talk about a smile design and my thought process and how I do things here. So here's is a case of a patient, you know, patient, cheek retracted, patient binding down. First thing that I look at are the angles right here. Let me change that. Angles, so let's look at our teeth. Let's draw some lines through our teeth. Right here, coming down. Right here, and right here, and right here. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. But see the angles here, the line angles of the teeth? Gives me an idea of how the teeth are angled for his smile. Next, you know, one thing that we notice here is this midline. It looks like this number eight right here, central, is in line with the lower. So the question then becomes, what am I going to do with this diastema space and how am I going to close this space up? You know, I'm most likely going to move the patient's left side over. And you can kind of tell here, you know, the angles where the teeth line up. So that gives us an idea. Looks like the patient's right side is pretty good. Uh, left side needs a little bit of work. So let's just keep that in mind, talking about alignment here. Next, I look at the gingival gums and the heights. So there's some mark here. Right there, a little bit lower, right here, and right there. You can kind of see that the right side is a little bit higher than the left side. And which means either A, we can do a little gum lifting to bring it up to make it even. When doing these small design cases, you know, everything that I do, and it doesn't have to be the right way to do it, uh, this is just one way to do it. You look at the centrals, central teeth, and then you work your way back. So here, his centrals look a little short. So what I want to do is then lengthen. So we're lengthening that. And this one too, so we use this guy and we match it to our measurements, predetermined measurements, and that can be through um, the measurements that I take with the Kois classes and or you know the ideal length. And then we use a wax up to see how it goes. So do we want to add teeth, which means do we lengthen the teeth? to get them symmetrical, or do you want to decrease the height as in we go up gingivally, which means crown length and then remove some bone gums right here. So, looks like I kind, I, looks like I want to increase the length up a little bit. And it looks like there's some teeth down here underneath the gums that we can utilize. So we kind of want to even that out. Now we look at his smile right here, a little incisal chip. So that can be addressed um, in the in part of this treatment. So let's go back here. Let's save a copy. Now look at his smile. All right, well, um, with no cheeks retracted. Now let's look at his line. Let's change that here. Pretty big lip dynamics. You can even see him when he smiles, you see the lowers. So, what that tells me then is I probably won't mess with the lowers. We can adjust the uppers. Might want to increase the length a little bit and bring it down just a little bit more. 
So you want to add length here. Want to get that two millimeter over jet. His gum lines, we can probably bring them up a little bit, do a little bit of gum recontouring to bring that up. And it's hidden pretty well up here. Now, ideally, how would I would approach this case for a small design is ortho first. So you want to do ortho, Invisalign brackets, to kind of close this diastema, get as close as we can, give us some space. Kind of want to bring this side over. Now, to the left. Patient's left, bring it over to the, to the midline. Then, <clears throat> at that point, we could come back here and take our teeth measurements and see do we have the space to make him the way he wants, you know. With all that said in mind, though, we also have to talk about the patient and see what kind of patient he is, what kind of person he is, his likes, dislikes. So when we design the final teeth, they fit his personality. You know, if he's very outspoken, alpha, um, strong male, you know, you want to put some teeth that reflect his personality. Personality. So that'll probably be squarish, you know, rough, harsh, you know, some nice line angles. Getting to know the patient, trying to figure out what they like, um, and get the teeth and the smile to reflect him as a person. Alright, so that's just a brief overview of how I do my smile design. There is a lot more that goes into it. You know, that includes after this stage, we do a wax up. A proposed diagnostic wax up, we go over the interdisciplinary treatment and options. And then we move forward from there. But we got to present all the options to our patient so that they would understand, you know, where we're going. And we want to keep the end in mind. We know where we want to go. It's how do we get from this existing condition to where the patient desires, where he's happy, comfortable, and feeling pretty good about himself. All right. Well, that's Dr. T coming out of San Diego. I appreciate the time, your time to take a listen and see how to do a smile design. Have a good day.